Hey guys, it's me again. I'm going to be doing a box opening review of the Makita um, reciprocating saw with the AVT, which is the anti-vibration technology. Um, I got this off of Amazon.ca. I got it for $251.97 Canadian. Um, this is the 15 amp um, reciprocating saw. So it, it is a little pricier, but um, it depends on what you're doing. And for me, I wanted to get basically a, a very powerful higher end type reciprocating saw. They do come with the nine amps um, and you know, lighter ones too. But I, I wanted to go for the beefy one. So let's just do a little opening here. Um, just uh, so that everyone has an idea what they're gonna be getting when they order this. Um, just a heads up that I do have a lot of different bits in here. Um, let's just take this all out. This does, these bits that I'm taking out right now are saw blades that did not come with the kit. So I just, I've used this kit for some time now and um, and and I, I, I just needed to get longer blades. So that's why I, um, that's why I had those ones there. Um, so anyways, you have your, your actual AVT uh, Makita reciprocating saw. Uh, this is the JR3070CT, and this is the 15 amp um, 120 volt reciprocating saw. Uh, there are a lot of nice features in this reciprocating saw that you know, like I can only, I can only comment on so much because I'm I'm not a huge demolition guy. Uh, for the stuff that I've used it for, it was more than capable. I was pruning trees. Um, I'm doing a demolition project here, and you know it's it's great. So vibration, it's it's actually manageable. Like um, there's not a lot of noise. Um, meaning sound noise. I when I'm sawing, I actually started out with earplugs and I took them off for a brief moment and I said, "Whoa, it's actually really quiet." And I I stopped using earplugs afterwards cuz it was just that quiet. But if you're sawing into steel or anything that's metallic, you might get screeching sounds, so probably having the earplugs would be good. But I was going into wood and it was it was fine for me. Um, so let's kind of go through the kit itself. So you do get the reciprocating saw. Um, you get a steel case, which is very, very refined, and I definitely like it quite a bit. And then you got your two saw blades that they, they provide with you. And they're both six inch, um, six inch uh, saw blades. Uh, one's for wood and the other one's for metal. Uh, I'm just gonna play around, just show everyone kind of like how easy this toolless uh, system is. Uh, so if I bring this over, um, basically you have this piece right here, that's where the, the saw blade goes. Um, it goes this way and you slide this in and you'll hear a click. And if you kind of noticed it, this actual um, holding bit, it actually rotated about a um, quarter of an angle, or a quarter of a rotation, sorry. And basically that basically holds it in place. Uh, you have your locking and your unlocking. So if you're trying to lock your blade out, you can. This will, it will automatically lock your, your blade in. Sorry, I was talking about this, which controls the depth of your guard. Um, you can push it up and it will change where your guard location is located. So if you need to cut on this end, 
then, or if you don't want to use the full blade, you only need four inches, then you can slide it to the right depth and lock it out. And it's just a side little cross bolt here. That'll do everything. So I'm just going to return that back to full. Um, and then if you want to take this off, you rotate clockwise and the bit will, uh, the saw blade will basically come off. If you put the saw blade back in, and I'm just going to focus into this mechanism here and unlock this guard high enough so that you can see. If You don't need to do anything really, you just need to push straight down and that mechanism will definitely just latch onto it. Pins will align right through the actual saw blade which will then um, keep it restrained. So let's just lock everything back to normal. Okay, moving along, I'm just going to take the saw blade out because I don't need it. I'm just going to put this back in. Okay, uh, you have speed controls here. Uh, basically, if you're doing wood, I believe you want to stay with one. If you're doing anything with higher speeds like steel, whatnot, you'd go to two and three. Um, I just use on one for what I was doing. And then over here by your pinky, uh, you'll have basically you control the RPM based off of this category speed that you've picked. So one being the slowest in that category and then six being the highest. And you can easily control that as, uh, as you as you want. Actually, while you're actually cutting too, you can actually control the speed. Um, triggers good. Um, it's you know you can put two fingers on it. You can do one finger, whatever you choose to do. Um, you can lock the trigger down by pressing this black button while the trigger is depressed, and to release it, you just push it back down and then the lock will disengage. Weight wise, I can understand people getting tired of holding this. This is not light. Like majority of the center of weight, um, center of gravity is basically right here where the ATV symbol is. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's pretty heavy. Like to do this for the whole day, your biceps are gonna be pretty bulky on that one arm, so you might have to balance it out and switch arms every so often. But anyways, uh, as for my review, I, I picked this up from Amazon um, and it came from Quebec and it came quickly. It took about five to seven business days to get to where I'm at, which is in Northern BC. Um, it came by Canada Post and it arrived in good shape and I was really happy to use it. Uh, if anyone's got any comments or feedback, please feel free to leave them. Catch you guys later. See ya.